Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Fig, also known as Fire Iron Gaming, and I'm playing a game called Mist Survival. You can find it on Steam for 11 US dollars. I came out August 15th, 2018, and personally I just bought it, and it is an absolute fantastic underrated game. Um, it is a survival game that is basically based on this this one person that is trying to survive the zombie apocalypse slash mist. So when the mist rolls in um, and during the nighttime the zombies come out. So you have time during the daytime to basically fortify a house, a building, a farm, and uh, basically build up so you could survive the mist. So we're going to jump into it and we're going to see what we get into. I played about an hour or so of this game um, and I died and so when you die um, your game basically um, gives you an option to either revive yourself and lose some stuff you, your base would get robbed basically and you'll lose some good loot or you could just start a new game so um, I'm gonna go with new game and as you see here it says are you sure you want to start a new game all save will be lost I'll say yes because I only played for about 20 minutes before I died um, <clears throat> So there are ve uh, vehicles in this game. One is a, a Land Rover type vehicle, and one is a pickup truck. The pickup truck update, I believe, came out December seventeenth, two thousand eighteen. So we're gonna see what we get into. Um, <clears throat> like I said, it's a very underrated game, and um, I don't think a lot of people do uh, videos on this game. So if you want to watch more videos and learn stuff. You can learn it with me, you can get the game yourself, and uh, you can ask me questions and everything. So, here we go. So it says, three years ago, a mysterious thing happened. A mysterious mist covered many parts of the world. Most people got sick and died. Many of those people survived, suffered changes. They became ferocious, turning vicious. Okay, I kind of didn't read too fast. Uh, you are the, you're one of the few of the immune of the mist. You survived in a camp with others before they, it was attacked by creatures unlike any seen before. You survived it, and now this is your story, even though I didn't say that. So this is general, uh, I guess, opening menu. So it just shows you, you know, fatigue, stamina, shelter management, mist event, as you see the mist rolls in, weapons and tools, bow and arrow, mining, ore type, and how to get brass. So you have, this is a crafting open world type of game. So this is where I start. And yes, if you're wondering, that is the walking sound. All right, so F. Your inventory slot has been upgraded two slots. So now I'm gonna open this. So now I can either individually drag and drop into my inventory backpack, or as you see here, I could press this loot all F, or I could just press F, which I'm going to do. And I looted it. Okay. Pickup saw is E. So pickup items are E. So if I press E here, it says that this small house is set as my base. So if I die, I respawn back here. Um, and F will be rest. I don't need rest right now because I just started the game and I'm fully rested. Okay. So <clears throat> if I press one, it brings up my basically tool belt, which isn't, which nothing is in my tool belt. If I press I, it shows me the day. So real quick, the uh, developer I heard is a single man developer. Um, the person that developed the game uh, is working by themselves, and English is not their first language. So please bear with, you know, everything that he might have spelled wrong or um, stuff like that, because he doesn't really, you know, speak amazing English. So as you see, the temperature here is in Celsius instead of Fahrenheit. Um, and like uh, a few months to winter, it should say a few months before winter, but it is what it is, so that doesn't, you know, hurt the game at all, personally, I like it, you know, it has a little bit of different difference in it, and uh, I'm going to basically watch this game progress into an amazing survival game. Alright, <clears throat> so as you see, it gives me my health, my hunger, my thirst, my fatigue, stamina, and cold. This is everything in my inventory. You click, so you're on crafting. You can click harvest. 
You can click status. So status will show you any injuries that you currently have, any any scratches or immortality or anything like that. It shows you the treatments also. Equipment. I guess I, I haven't done any of this yet. I haven't found anything. So I guess you can get clothes and have, you know, um, gear, like riot gear. So it's pretty cool. Over here is your basic crafting materials. As you see, you have all of these items. And you have dry meat. You have basic wooden arrow, sleeping bag, bandage, sulfur powder. This is part of a crafting material, um, salt pre powder, crafting material, and gunpowder. I'm sorry if I read things wrong, by the way, guys. Um, <clears throat> okay, so now I press escape. I could go into the building menu. I could press B. And let's see here. Okay, so basic fire, campfire, stand torch, barrel fire. These are all things that you have to collect the items. So eight metal scraps and ten wood and a hammer. And these 15 minute, these minute things aren't actually that amount. It goes a lot faster. So there's a whole drying rack, grill stand, cooking pot, water barrel, water purifier, do it yourself generator, trash bin, tanning rack, or workbench, blacksmith place, moonshine still, saw machine, or repair bench, furnace, reloading bench, and then this is cool because you have different options here on the side. So it's basically, um, let me see here, so basic shelter, which is um, a thing the the basic shelter that you just saw where, where I spawned it originally um, if you build a small cabin apparently you could build around your cabin and so you could basically build anywhere as long as you build a cabin you could have your base wherever you want um, <clears throat> so that's the little home here then this chicken wire you click it it gives you livestock fence livestock fence door that swings open and then these are you know giant walls to basically protect your your base and then you go here, and it's a chicken coop, something I've actually never seen before in this game. <clears throat> you have a lantern light post, so that illuminate your camp. Flood light, illuminate your camp or around your camp. Small fridge and main fridge. Now I've not built anything through here. The only thing I've done is explore a little bit outside in the world. Um, <clears throat> so this is new to me also, guys. All right, so there's a wooden bed, uh, I guess two people but this is a single player game just so you know only single player as of right now um, so single bed duo bed modern bed classic bed um, as you see it says here that it could either be um, used to recover for fatigue or used as decoration uh, I don't know if I went okay then you have multiple lockers to hold your things multiple tables multiple chairs and a dummy target you know keep you company in this lone, lonely world and this, I don't know why I can't click it, but it looks like a trap. <clears throat> so I get out of that. And um, what else can I show you guys? Um, let me see here. Okay, no. So if I press, no. Okay. I thought uh, I thought I had another key. Oh, that's on. Yeah. So I just press tab, and it shows me everything. So I don't have to hold tab down. I could just click it, and you know, I could roam around and be able to just always keep an eye on all of that and see when I'm hungry or thirsty or whatever when you want to drink or whatever or eat <clears throat> you could go over to it you left mouse click it I mean right mouse mouse click it I'm sorry so you could either drop it you know drop it on the floor you could eat it and you gotta pick it up I mean or you could right mouse click it and eat it I'm not gonna do that yet um, so L is a flashlight I guess that comes standard. I haven't used that yet. Only thing that does, you know, annoy me a little bit is the sound that it makes when he runs. Um, I don't know if you're, my character's a man, a woman, or whatever, but um, that doesn't really matter to me, personally. But, oh, okay. So, okay, there is a bear. So right now, I can't fight a bear, so if a bear comes to me, I'm going to die. Um, a good thing about this game, though, is if you press escape, 
you could change your autosave on off or you could just save your game and when you press that down in the right hand corner there it says saving so I want to go around this bear okay there's a shelter and a car so the cars in this game right it looks like he's kind of stuck but I'm not gonna take that chance it looks like he's kind of glitching out over there but if he gets loose I'm screwed so as I said before this is an early alpha game this game uh, has only been out for a couple of months and uh, I haven't seen any reviews on it so this is just a basic uh, a tutorial on how to do everything learn with me and uh, hope be good so this logo here is a home so I can make this my home so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press E so now I can make this my active base so I click that it's a small house is set as your base cool so now I could go in so you could enter you could enter it without making it your base and you could just keep moving so oh here you go so you pick up an X you pick up a combat knight and F inventory so it, I added two slots to my inventory so now when I open it I have these two slots that I didn't have and wow I just realized that <clears throat> I guess you could upgrade all the way up to here and carry so much stuff so there's no load limit so if you can carry you know X amount of logs it doesn't weigh you down from what I know okay cool this symbol on top of vehicles means that you can uh, drive them it's mainly this vehicle which looks like a Land Rover or a Range Rover or whatever um, <clears throat> so you can drive this one and apparently there's a new pickup truck so you go over you press E to the hood as you see here it has zero liters of gas so I'm going to, I haven't driven a vehicle yet so I don't know the mechanics behind it but you need spark plugs you need an engine you need a battery you need four wheels and you need I only assume gas or petrol so to speak um, and I guess you need a gas tank jerry can um, so as right now we'll leave that here can't do much but I do like mechanics how everything is so smooth I could store stuff in there right now if I wanted to but no need to so yeah you can pick up rocks everything has crafting materials so everything is a crafting material so if you pick up rocks you know you might need rocks you might need certain things to craft an item or a weapon we're just gonna go a little bit further guys um, that's basically everything you need to know as of right now um, I was hoping that it would be a little bit misty out so you could see so oh and hammer cool so look there you go so my guy is thirsty so I'm gonna drink and we thirst went all the way up. Alright, cool. I'm gonna check everything, make sure everything is empty. Alright. So that's basically it for the tutorial. Uh, I'm going to start a first episode and you guys could um, you guys could watch that. I greatly appreciate everybody watching. And uh, I'm hoping that this could be your missed survival headquarters where you guys could come. You could ask questions. I could try them out. I could, you know, build things that you guys ask. Um, I'm learning just as much as you are. So, yeah. Um, thank you very much for watching, guys. Please subscribe, like, and uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Fire Iron Gaming. Thank you very much, guys. Appreciate it. Peace.